Hey y'all, welcome back to the shop, or in this case, my office, which is attached to my shop. So I just wanted to do a little quick video about a finishing product that I was recently turned on to, and maybe you've known about it forever, but it's Wipe On Poly. So for Christmas, I've been making a bunch of these frames uh, out of walnut for different people and different purposes. My wife was doing some art and I was doing the the framing on it and you know I would like to spray it but spraying makes a mess plus I'm doing them you know two three at a time and so I'd have to keep setting up the sprayer and, and cleaning it and you know it didn't make sense and then I just don't really like brushing frankly and uh, then you got to clean the brush and all that and so my buddy Kevin turned me on to this wipe on poly uh, what I really liked about it um, is the fact that, you know, um, you just grab some gloves, get you a little rag, shake it, that's what the instructions say, which surprised me, because normally you don't shake poly. Open that bad boy up. Now, I've done about 12 frames already this, uh, for this Christmas. Um, and I've had such good luck, that's what made me want to show you this. So, anyway, you know, it's obviously, you know, real simple. And I'm making a big old mess. But uh, it's just like it sounds. You just wipe on your, your finish. It gives you kind of a hand-rubbed look. And uh, it, really, uh, it really is nice. And when you're done... You know, you just throw the rag away, and uh, that's pretty much all of your cleanup. Now, I will say, uh, if you're, you know, needing something that's uh, highly protected, uh, for instance, like a desktop, or, or something that'll be, you know, that'll have some wear on it, um, I wouldn't recommend this. You don't get a big buildup. Like you do if you're uh, brushing poly or spraying some other finish, you know. So uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use it for an application like that. But for decorative type things like this, uh, it's it's pretty nice. And there you go. That's my second coat. I'll let that dry. I'll sand uh, with some 320 and put a third coat and I'll be done. And uh, it's just that simple and fast. So I just thought I'd give you that if, uh, if anybody's looking for a different way to finish. Have a good day.